Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today is a day where I really wanna get some cleaning and organizing done around the house, a little bit of decluttering as well, and I thought I would take you along with me. Got my sweater on today because it's, yeah, a little bit cooler. It's just feeling like fall is around the corner and I wanna do a bit of like fall cleaning and tidying up. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna tidy up our main floor here. Nothing is like majorly dirty. When we first moved in here, we did like a really thorough deep clean, but I do still just wanna like do a bit of a, a little deep sweep around the house. Our upstairs spare room has a bunch of my stuff in there that really needs to be organized. So let's get started. The sun has decided to come out again, which is very nice. Still a little bit cloudy, but it's definitely feeling so much more like fall is around the corner. We've had a lot of like windy, cool breezes and it's just feeling cozy out here. Check out our cute little chrysanthemums that I got for the front door. I love them. They add so much color and they're such a fall-like plant. Nice and autumnal out here. I just love them, especially these ones. They're kind of like an ombre flower. So nice for the front door. Alrighty, I'm just gonna do a really quick little clean around the kitchen. Um, nothing too crazy, there's a few dishes to do, a few things to put away. I also have a box of some groceries here that I need to put away, and then I'm gonna break down this box, <laughs> get it out of the corner of this kitchen. I cannot wait to paint these cabinets, hopefully sometime soon, um, just to brighten up the kitchen. Also gonna remove the stainless steel backsplash, really looking forward to doing that. I don't know when, but hopefully soon. back into the freezer there goes our compost bin life hack keep your compost bin in the freezer if you can because it will prevent so many fruit flies and keeps the smell down pretty great this stool over here we have randomly here because we've been using it kind of as like a coffee table because we don't yet have a coffee table but we're hoping to get one also hoping to get a nice like rug for in here as well but it's just been sitting here and so I'm gonna take it into the basement this plant here needs some water and if any of you by the way know what type of plant this is please let me know we got this as a wedding gift it did have flowers on it that kind of smelled like jasmine. Um, I can't figure out what kind of plant it is, but anyway, unfortunately it has kind of lost a lot of leaves, but I'm gonna take it outside and water it. just sort of unfortunately we've been just like putting a lot of random stuff on it because there are some things that still need a proper home I'm gonna try and do a little bit of decluttering on this thing because it's not the most lovely looking when it's full of clutter so let's just see if I can find some homes for things also is this not the cutest little piece of artwork that 
my really good friend gave to Sean and I as a wedding gift. It's actually a picture of me and Sean from a photograph when we first got engaged, but I don't yet have a frame for it, but that's what I'm hoping to do is to frame it. Okay, here's our solution for Sean's things. I had this little basket upstairs. Perfect! Oh my gosh, how perfect is that? Yay! There, now it's like, keeps the things in there neat and tidy, but you don't, you know, it's not as visible because they're hidden in there. I like this plant here because it dangles, which is nice, but I've tried to tidy things up a little bit here. I'm trying to make it look like a little neater. For now, I think that this will work. All right, moving on to the spare room. Here we are. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. I've got like a lots of random pictures and artworky things. Also, I have I have this big, huge uh, bag of all my old journals, as you can see here. And I picked these up from my mom's house because that's where I was storing them. So anyway, I'm gonna bring them into the spare room and then we can do some organizing. As a lot of you guys know, I'm really big into journaling and I've journaled for so many years. And this big bag of journals represents 21 years of journaling, which is crazy to think about. I've been journaling for so many years. I've gotten a lot of um, questions from people over the years asking what I do with all of my journals, um, you know, once I'm done writing in them, and I keep them. That's what I do with them. It's so interesting to read back on old journals, um, to read through experiences that you had, just memories, thoughts that you had, and also like reading through a lot of my old journals i've noticed a lot of patterns within myself like a lot of the same fears and insecurities and stuff that i had like so many years ago that i still some of them i still have today or you know maybe some i've outgrown but it's just so freaking fascinating i'm gonna keep all my journals in this bag but maybe i'll read through a few entries oh my gosh won't that be exciting let's see what do we got in here i'm gonna pick a random journal Flip to a page and I'll read you what it says. I'm scared. What do we got? Ah! Literally, the title is Ah! <laughs> it's just funny that that's what I open up to. Let's pick a different one. Okay, what's this one? Oh, okay. Nope, not gonna do that one either. Right, let's see. What do we got here? Title Hello, I'm Exploding. Smiley face. My mom gave me a book to read tonight called Live the Life You Love. Things like that draw me into an explosive, fantastic, inspirational, motivated, dream-filled, beyond excited headspace. Last night I had a rather disturbing dream. I kept coming in and out of wakefulness and sleepingness in a dream of people's heads getting cut off very violently. Why, universe? Why? Why are you doing this to me? What are my lessons at this time? What am I being taught? Major patience. Authenticity, letting things go, stop worrying, trust the process. Okay, okay, okay. I had a somber day today, felt lonely again and down, which is a very shitty feeling. This journal brings back many a terrible memory because February 2nd, 2012, because I had a really severe anxiety attack. I called my mom and she came and took me to the hospital and it was the start of about a year and a half worth of really dark depression and anxiety. I had had a concussion some time before this all began and I've always wondered since then if I was dealing with post-concussion syndrome. I had fainted and hit my head on concrete or on um, ceramic floor and had two seizures and like it was a really bad concussion. This is the journal entry of when I met Sean, my now husband. Okay, here we go. You ready? 
I met a guy on Saturday night when I went out for a friend's birthday gathering at Humber River Valley for a bonfire. I saw him towards sundown on a blanket with friends to my right and I thought, I've never seen anyone like him before. I was so curious about him and wanted to meet him. He went over to the bonfire and I went over there to, to, to warm up. He came over, introduced himself, and we literally spent the entire rest of the night getting to know each other. We are going to the St. Lawrence Market on Saturday morning. <laughs> we did, we went on our very first date the week later and it was just the best day ever. Okay, anyway, enough journal reading. I'm just gonna tidy up this room because that's actually what I came in here to do and try to, yeah, just tidy things up in here. <laughs> I found the perfect picture frame that I'm going to use for the photo of me and Sean downstairs. Um, it has some random like dried flowers from like a few years ago, but I'm going to take that out. Alright, I've made a lot of progress in this room. It is much tidier. I have a couple pictures over here I'm going to want to hang up, but feeling pretty good about the space. Have my yoga mat in here for doing some morning meditation sometimes. All right, let's hang it up. So here it is, pretty simple little picture. I'm just trying to decide, should I paint the frame? You know, we have a lot of wood in this house already. Tell me what you think. If you think that I should paint it, let me know in the comments below and what color should I paint the frame? I almost just wanna paint the frame like white or something like that, like just keep it really light and bright and neutral. I don't know, let me know what you think. But next on my to-do list is this patch, patch a wall kit. Our basement stairwell going downstairs has, there's like a big hole in the wall, which is great. We've been doing a bunch of work in the basement since we've moved in. We ripped out all the old carpet and we've been painting down there and we ripped off a bunch of the wallpaper in the stairwell going downstairs. I'll show you in a minute. But I got this because there's a hole in the wall and I need to patch it up. Let's see how this works. Hello from me and my hole in the wall. Here's this, that's her. most important thing. It's just a sticky patch that I'm gonna be putting over top of this hole and then that's what I putty over top of. Remove paper cover from patch and apply over hole with surface covered by mesh facing outward. Facing outward. I don't really know what that means. That doesn't really make sense to me. Uh, peel this off. And then this, oh, I think it goes this way. It's gonna go on the hole. All right, all right, okay. Feel good about this. All right, here comes nothing. Alrighty, so I'm gonna end this video here. I think I am done for the day doing my tidying up. It feels really good though um, to just organize things, to give things a proper place, to, to do a nice little sweep. Even through the garden, it felt good to just kind of tidy.
tidy things up. So thanks so much for watching and for coming along with me today. I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration to do a little bit of um, organizing in your own home. And that's it. I will see you all in the next video. See you guys later. Bye.